Before we begin today's video, I just wanted to tell you that next week we will resume the Oxford Q&A, so stay tuned for that and look forward to today's video. I got this package and I saw my name on it because yesterday we got a package but it was for our neighbours so when I went downstairs and I saw a package I got so happy thinking it was mine but it wasn't but today this was mine and I was really confused because I didn't order anything but I took it to my room and I was half asleep and then I went back to sleep and then when I woke up I had to go to the competition with my dad and now that I'm home I'm finally opening it and then I realised it's from your style! I opened the package and I showed a few of the first pieces on my Instagram story but then I realised that I should probably get my reaction on camera which is why we're here now so now that that has been explained let me show you what I opened so far I'm not even gonna lie like this first piece is a bit questionable to me it's not something I would order myself I think I could definitely make it work though I could I can make anything work like let's just be real like, I have a mark there because nobody's perfect I'm gonna work it anyway uh, why am I so fast today we need to slow it down <laughs> I'm not doing this right oh my god let me tell you a funny story I don't really buy jumpers I used to hate them the first jumper I bought was like a cheap one from Primark when I was at uni because I wanted to fit in with the student population so I just bought a jumper and I wore it in winter <laughs> but it's nice to have more this makes me feel like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air 90s kind of vibes it's quite big it looks very comfortable I guess I'll be wearing this for the next part of the video knowing Asian websites it probably is a size one one size but it's quite big so I think it's meant to be baggy there's this which is actually really nice like I low-key wanted something like this but I couldn't justify getting one because I have so many bags and I don't have space and it's just no point but this was given to me so it's different thank you for having my back a nice white bag very simple again 90s vibe my mom used to wear these kind of things and now she donated them to our charity shop so yeah very cool hold please this is a white mesh oh my god it's perfect because you know what i freaking collect these i would show you my collection right now i have a drawer full of mesh sleeves different materials different colors everything because normally i would wear them under a t-shirt so don't come for me saying that my arms are on show because let me remind you okay hijab works both ways this looks a bit big but actually i'm not that small so it should be fine it's very very soft yes style man thank you thank you there's this this one makes me think of a friend of mine, a friend called Moisa, This is a lot more her than me because as I said, I don't wear jumpers. Oh, oh honey, this is a bit small. I know it would stretch, but that makes me feel quite uncomfortable, can't lie. Moses Queen, love Moses, aka Musa. I mean, I'll try it on, you probably won't see the outcome. If anything, the sleeves are nice. And if anything, anything, this is good for just under your coat if you're not going to take off your coat. If you're like me and this will make you feel comfortable. <laughs> and um, you want to be warm because it's winter right now it looks very nice it's just the fact that it's very skin tight obviously kind of small but i think it would stretch i'm like a size 8 to 10 but i buy 10 just to be comfortable and a bit more baggy so i think this would fit me and i'll try it on later i think you could wear this with um some jeans tucked in with some nice boots a bag like this you know some gold accessories and you're done like that's really nice winter outfit so far so good oh god oh Wow. These are actually really classy pieces. Hair clips in different styles. The back and the front are different. Like hair grips and hair clips basically. Clip. Grip. I'm dropping them. I have no grip. <laughs> a lot of pearl details and then gold. And then these are earrings. And I love my earrings. I just bought some very weird ones. These arrived yesterday. Little men. And then I bought some weird like elf looking ones. And some other things. And a clown earring. I like earrings. These are really cool. I don't wear them as much as I used to. I used to use them on my scarf, but I think I should use these. I'll probably share some of these with my cousin and my mom because we're always looking for this kind of stuff. But they're very, very cute. Like, these are very classy. So I'm thankful that these were gifted to me. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Style. Thank you. Oh, and there's a star one as well. This is a bit different at the back. Wow. And then, this is exciting as well. I'm guessing this is um, lipstick. Airfit Velvet Tint. Velvet. And then eye glitter. Wow, I love glitter and it's champagne pink. I also love champagne pink, but not the drink because that's haram. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, this just feels expensive. That is such a nice packaging. Black rouge, black rouge. And you know, I love purple. So my phone case is purple too. Metallic purple. Oh my God, oh my God. Eye glitter in such a nice color. Yo, this was a win, man. See you in the next clip. So, I had to re-record this because my microphone wasn't plugged in and I'm trying to up the quality from the previous clip. This is how I style this look. You could also like flick it here. Obviously, I wore a hat on top, 
I didn't want my scarf to be too matchy matchy. I think this is like a taupe colour, so pink and brown. Um, I didn't even bother wearing a white one because it would have matched too much with the trousers, I think. I put on one of the grips that they gave me. I've got rings on from the last time YesStyle sent me stuff and you can watch that in my last haul. I'll leave the link in the bio and you can check it out afterwards if you want to. And let me know what you think of this because as I said, I don't really buy jumpers, I wouldn't have bought this. I wore the mesh thing underneath and I think that looks quite nice. If you were to tuck this out, it also looks quite good. I've got the earrings as well, it really goes well with this look I must say. I've got a bag here. Again, goes well with the trousers that I decided to wear it with. Some white trousers that are creased, but I was not going to iron it. <laughs> and yes, I know I said that you probably wouldn't see me in this jumper, but I think it looks quite nice, so there you go, a little treat. I am also wearing the lip gloss and the eyeshadow thingy that they gave. I think this lip gloss is actually really nice and I probably will use it quite a lot. It's giving me very autumn vibes and it smells nice. I think it's meant to be strawberry flavoured. As for the eye glitter thing, when my mom swatched it on her hand, it came out really nice. But on the eyes, I think you need to have a good base because it's not really showing up right now. Which is fine because I went for a very simple look. This took me 10 minutes. So, yeah. If you ever want to see a fast makeup look, let me know because I get ready super quickly. <laughs> I was going to wear more jewellery, but I kind of wanted to keep it to Yes Style stuff. Because the earrings, the rings, and um, obviously the hair grip. And you could, if you wear it like me, put this on your hat maybe. Or on your scarf and tie it properly. Or obviously if you let your hair out, then just wear the hair grip. If you do copy this look or take inspiration, then tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see it. That would be so cool. So yeah, this is the look. You could even have it down. Totally up to you. It's giving me very, um, I have to pick up my kids from school vibes or autumn nerd chic or like I'm in the library reading my book, which I have right here. I read this on my podcast. It's the latest book I read. If you want to hear that, go check the link in the bio, but it's a very good book. I do recommend and I haven't finished it yet, so it also matches my outfit, so that's nice. Anyway, that is this look. Let me know what you think. I was always really scared of styling videos. I thought they would be really stressful to film, but actually this was so much fun, and people told me to do fashion videos a lot in the past, so if you're actually interested, then let me know, and I may do some of that. I really love fashion challenges, like something I've done with my friends in the past is I take one of their t-shirts, they take one of mine, we both style it in our own ways, like making a look your own. If you want to give me a fashion challenge, feel free, leave a comment, or DM me on Instagram or something like that. I've also posted some pictures of the looks from today's video on my Instagram, so check them out. Leave me some comments if you want to. And yeah, set me a fashion challenge, something you think that I would find uncomfortable to wear, like a jumper if you want to, or like a material you think I don't like, or a color. I'm open to everything. I have tried so many things. There's nothing too revealing and I can do anything, or I can even modify that, so yeah. Tell me what you think. I quite like it. This is look number two and I think I think I did pretty well. I just wanted to quickly say actually, most of the jewellery is from YesStyle besides like besides these two, but I'm not swearing, okay? You know I broke my finger once and it was on my middle finger because of judo. I fractured it, but anyway, anyway. <laughs> what do you think of this look? I basically just invented a new scarf style. I think it looks really cool. Kind of chokes you a bit, but like it looks kind of nice and you could adjust it so it doesn't hurt so much. So I think the scarf looks cool. The jumper is super comfortable. If you're not a hijabi, then I think you could easily just go for the Ariana Grande look where you just have a very, very oversized jumper and then walk around like a penguin. I'm not calling her a penguin, please don't come for me. I just mean like, you know, she wears oversized stuff, right? And you could also just roll this up. Even though it's one size, it's definitely large and that makes it very comfortable. It's good for winter, lounge wear as well. It's slightly different when you roll it up. I wore it with some black jeans because I think that's just the easiest way to do this. You could also wear it with some denim, light or dark, it kind of depends on your style. I think dark would look better. It's very oversized, so maybe skinny at the bottom. Or kind of um, straight cut jeans would look good as well, in my opinion. But yeah, I think keep it simple. I've got the earrings on again. It's the same lipstick as before. I should have reapplied it, but you get the idea, right? And here's a bit of a close up. Maybe too close. <laughs> this is so much fun though. Like, yeah, as I was saying, please give me style challenges because I would love to do them. Let me know what you want to see in the future in terms of like fashion or something creative. Oxford videos will continue next week, so look out for that. And thank you so much. Please leave a like, share it if you want to, go check out the photos on Instagram. And until then, see you next time, or even see you next time. <laughs> Let me give you a hug because this is so big. Bye. 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 What, what, what? Yeah.